Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the realization of LC driving point impedance and admittance using cover method. So let us talk about the procedure for the realization of impedance and admittance using this method. First, arrange the power of numerator and denominator in descending order. That is, the power of numerator should be from higher to lower. Similarly, the power of denominator should be from higher to lower. Next step is check the power of numerator and denominator. The power of denominator should be less than that of the numerator. If not, then exchange between the admittance function and the impedance function. That is, if second step is not fulfilled, then if the question is given in impedance function, then convert it to the admittance function. And if the question is given in admittance function, convert it to impedance function. So, depending upon our realization core one method can be divided into two cases case one realization of impedance function case two realization of the admittance function after converting it into the appropriate form that is either in impedance function form or admittance function form now next step is to perform continued fraction after performing the continued fraction we need to realize the impedance function and or advertise function into the circuit before realizing the circuit what we do is the quotient that is achieved the quotient that is achieved during our continuous fraction should be denoted by the sequence so if you are realizing impedance function then our sequence will be starting from Z that is impedance I denoted here as Z1, Y1, Z2, Y2 up to Zn, Yn similarly if you are realizing admittance function then sequence will be starting from the admittance function that is Y1, Z1, Y2, Z2 up to Yn, Zn so after denoting with the proper sequence we need to convert that achieved coefficient into circuit component now let us take an example to get more clear vision about the core matter we take here z is equals to s square plus 1 s square plus 3 by s s square plus 2 so first arrange the power in descending order of numerator and denominator here we can see that the power of denominator is less than that of numerator so we don't need to extend between impedance and admittance function so the given function will be as it is z is equals to s4 by sorry z is equals to 
एस फोर प्लस फोर एस स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री बाई एस क्यूब प्लस टू एस So after checking the power, our next step is to perform continued fraction. So we are performing now continued fraction. So we need to get S four. So S four can be get by multiplying S cube plus two S with S. The main theme is to cancel the first term. So we proceed the continuous fraction in the similar way. If you get difficult in getting the quotient while dividing, so the other method is assume x that is three into x equals to what we want to get one by two s. So find the value of x. So we got x equals to s by six. That is our quotient. Now, now we denote sequence as we have talked previously. As we are realizing impedance function, our sequence will start from Z, that is Z one y one, Z two y two up to Z n y n. So denote the quotient as Z one y one. J two and Y two. Now our last step is to realize what we have denoted with the sequence into the circuit component. So, as we have denoted the first quotient as J, so in impedance function. Y yes, equals to inductor. We got inductor equals to one Henry. Similarly, second term is our admittance. So we got capacitor. Again, our third term is inductor. So we got 